we're gonna make some stuff from a towel. What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, my name is Ariana and I make upcycling DIY videos. So be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know every time that there's an upload. Today I'm going to show you how you can make a few useful things from a towel that you no longer use. I feel like we all have that like one towel that's a little bit too old, like you wouldn't give that to your guest if they were to come over and they needed a towel. I mean maybe it's got like stains or a hole. So I figure instead of throwing it away, you can upcycle it into a couple other things that are useful to extend its life. The one that I'm using for this project is actually one that I've had for a while and I've kind of used it as like my hair dyeing towel. <laughs> Anyone who has ever dyed their own hair in the past would know that hair dye can mess up your towel and once it's messed up it's done. But I haven't dyed my own hair in a while so I figure it's time we could retire that and turn it into something else. So I'm going to show you how to make a few things out of that towel and these are pretty simple so hopefully you follow along. Okay so let's get started. I am busting out my bullet journal to show you what we're going to make. And we're off to a great start misspelling the word upcycle. <laughs> Get it together, Ariana. Okay, so moving on. So we've got our old towel that we're going to use for this project. I'm going to show you how to make three things. Some reusable cotton rounds, this little headband with teddy bear ears, and a loofah. This first one is really simple. Do you know those little cotton rounds that you use to take off your makeup? Well, instead of getting the disposable ones and throwing them away after each use, you can make your own that are reusable and washable, um, and I can make it out of this towel and an old t-shirt, or any other kind of soft or cotton fabric. I decided to use the two different types because the towel is a little bit rougher, so it's more of an exfoliating side, and then the softer cotton side could be used around your eye area. So to make these, we're basically just going to sew together a bunch of circles. I'm using this lid to a jar that I had to use as a template and just tracing around and cutting them out of both the towel fabric as well as the old t-shirt. Once you have as many as you'd like to make, we are going to sew them. So literally just put one of the t-shirt rounds with the towel, pin it together all the way around, and then we're going to sew it at about a quarter of an inch. After I did that, I trimmed away eighth of an inch to leave just a small little seam allowance. And then I zigzag stitched around the edges. If you have a serger, really easy, just serge around, but for those of us that don't have that kind of thing, we can zigzag stitch. So let me show you how that's done. So this is the edge of your cotton round. You're going to bring your needle on the zigzag stitch setting right down onto that stitch line that you made, and then the other side of the zigzag is going to land right outside of the edge and then back onto the stitch line, and then repeat. This is what's going to catch in all of those little raw edges. And you're done. Really nice and simple. The second one I thought was super adorable. You can use it whenever you wash your face, and you can push back your hair and get it out of the way. So to make this headband, we are going to make a band from the towel. And we are messing up again. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay, so we're going to cut out some bands as well as little rounded half circle shapes for the ears. We'll need four of those. You'll also need a hair elastic. So to get the length of the band, go ahead and measure around your head and add about an inch or inch and a half so that we can have some room to stretch it over your head. So instead of making two separate bands, I just folded it over just so it would be about an inch and a half when folded. And then for the ears, I made these little rounded half circle type shapes um, that basically looked like an ear, and you will need four of these.
then you're going to sandwich two of them together and sew around just the rounded edge and flip it inside out so that'll look like this. And now we'll grab your band and we're going to attach the ears to the band first. I wanted the ears to look even more like a bare ear so I pinched in the sides like this and that's how I'm going to attach it on here. You can put the band on your head to see where the ears are going to land but I just kind of eyeballed it from the center. To attach them just sew them right along the edge and you'll get something like this. And the next step is to sandwich all of that in so we're going to sew a tube but leave a few inches on the ends because we're going to need that opening. Once you have that sewn and you can flip it inside out and you'll get something like this looking cute already. So those two ends we're going to make a full circle by attaching them together like so. And at that opening is where we're going to attach the elastic hairband so that we can have the stretch. First thing you'll do is line it up where you want it and you're going to tack it down right in the middle so that it doesn't move around. And then let me show you here in this little diagram. So if this is our hair elastic here, you're just going to sew right along the seam to tack it down. And then each end of the hair elastic, you're going to stretch it out and tack it down as well. That's what's going to get that little rouging effect right here and bring it all in whenever the elastic goes back to its original shape. And then once you flip it up to sew it all together, I tacked it down all the way on the other side as well. So I got something like this. As you can see in that little opening, you can see the hair elastic. And then the last thing to do is just tuck in the raw edges and sew it shut. So for this last one, I decided to try something a little bit different. So instead of buying those plasticky loofah things from the store, um, I decided to make one from the towel. So basically for this one, we're just going to make an extremely long tube and sew it together into loops to make our loofah. The other thing you're going to need is some string. So to make the tubes, I just cut out a bunch of strips, about an inch or an inch and a half. And once you have all your strips, you're just going to attach them together. Now instead of sewing them straight across, uh, it's actually better to sew it at an angle. Because that's going to give you a nice clean seam without adding a bunch of bulk. Once you do that, it looks something like this. And then once you've sewn all of your strips together, just sew them into a tube. Now before we get that, we're going to make a little string loop. And BRB as I untangle all this string. This always happens to me. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna cut about three pieces to make a braid. If you have a thicker cord, you probably don't even have to do this. Let's go ahead and knot the end and braid it down. And then knot the other end to finish it off. Okay, so we're going to start on one end of the tube and start by sewing down your cord or the braid that you just made. So you'll have something like this. And then with a needle and some thread, knot the end of it and start by threading it through the very end. And then we're basically just going to make some loops and tack them down. So you can kind of see how I'm starting it here. You go one direction and then you can bring it the other way. And you're basically just going to keep doing this until you get a shape that you like. After you do it a few times, you'll, you'll find a technique that works really well for you.
once you get your loop started, I found this is the best way for me. So say this is the tail of the tubing that you haven't used yet. So if you're starting here, make a loop with the tail and then sew right through that end here. Because then once you pull that needle through, it will pull that end down to close off that loop. I know it kind of didn't really make sense, but I can show you here in the next clip. So see here I am making that loop and just kind of standing it up and then taking the needle and pushing it through to tack it down. This is what really helps it to get that more of a rounded 3D shape instead of a flat pancake. <laughs> and once you get to a shape you like, you can just cut off the excess and tuck in the end and tack it down with some stitches. And there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video and those DIYs and I hope it inspired you to get creative with things that are lying around in your house before you throw it away. And be sure to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to this channel so you can get some more ideas on upcycling and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!